I want to share one of my favorite sewing techniques. It's the front seam, but this time I will show it in a specific place in a pocket bag. Because I think it's a great seam for a very nice finish in a pocket bag. Follow this guide. When making front seams, you always have to add some extra seam allowance if there are only one centimeter seam allowance on the sewing patterns. And on how to do fashion sewing patterns, there are only one centimeter of seam allowance. So I always add 0.5 centimeter extra when I'm using a French seam. When making French seam in a pocket and you have a pocket facing like this one, you need to trim off a half centimeter off the bottom. Otherwise, your French seam will be quite thick here, and we don't want that. Then it is actually a centimeter shorter here at the bottom. That's correct. You need first to match up the right pieces together. And this one is going to be here with the facing visible from the front from the front side. But when you're sewing a front seam, you need to sew the two pieces together with the wrong side facing each other. So I am flipping out my pocket bag and placing the other pocket bag with the wrong side of the fabric facing each other. And then I am sewing the pocket bag together with 0.7 millimeter. When you've made the first stitch, you need to trim down the edges. Otherwise, all this fraying will be visible from the right side when your front seam is finished. I just take approximately two millimeters off, so I have a nice and sharp edge. And you can see the facing here is not at the bottom. The facing is not inside the seam yet. It will be at the next stitch because when I turn this around, it will just cover up this one. And this is the reason why I cut off 0.5 centimeter off the pocket facing. It's because I want it to be nice and delicate down here. And if I'm going to make a double fold, because that is what you do when you make a front seam, it will be very heavy and stiff here at the bottom. Now I need to press the seam. So first I actually turn the pocket around. I don't split the seam here because it's quite, it's quite difficult because it's such a heavy curve. So I am just pressing very nicely and very careful to get a very sharp folded edge. So now it's pressed all the way and I need to sew the final stitch of this front seam. I just need to be very careful to catch this piece, the pocket facing into the seam. So here we have the finished pocket and I think it looks just so finished and so pretty at the inside. And that is what I really love about making these seams in the pocket bags. Besides being very pretty, it is also practical because it's a much more stable pocket and you because you have two stitches to secure the pocket bag. Finished at the inside and on the outside as well. So this was how I make a pocket bag with French seam. And I think it's very suitable for these curved seams in a pocket bag. I think it's a much lighter finish than you will get if you pipe the edges. I think that French seams are suitable for all lightweight fabrics. It's not suitable for heavy wools and things like that. I would use a different technique for that. I hope that you learned something and that I sparked your interest in the French seam because the way that I sew this French seam is the same way you will sew all other friends seams. If you want to follow, you can find a follow link in the caption below. And then I would wish you a happy Sunday. See you next week. Bye!